Hello everyone. The channel. The channel. We are here to discuss question and answers of chapter 18, pollution of air and water. It is there in class 8 science. Let us see the first question. What are the different ways in which water get contaminated? Here we find different ways by which water get contaminated. Some of them, which is written, it is improper disposal of garbage in water. That is one of the reason. Industries are also responsible because we find that they are discharging their harmful chemicals or industrial waste directly into the rivers and streams. That is the reason. we also have seen that agriculture in agriculture field farmers are using excessive amount of fertilizers pesticides and weedicides and as they are using so these uh, chemical waste are getting discharged into the rivers or nearby water bodies untreated sewage is directly discharged into water from household activities now we have question number 2 at an individual level how can you help to reduce air pollution means as a citizen of your country how individually you will be helping the country and to the world you are responsible that you should not be responsible uh, regarding the pollu pollution of air and so in what way what are the steps as at an individual level you can take so we can have public transport whenever it is possible and uh, we can have a little bit of awareness and we should spread that awareness to others also regarding uh, air pollution that it should be reduced and we can plant more and more trees wherever it is possible we can participate in this type of activities and uh, we should not use your diesel run vehicles and petrol run vehicles for covering short distances let us move on to question number 3 here we have question number 3 as clear transparent water is always fit for drinking comment we see that clear water and transparent water we generally drink without thinking but it is not always true because uh, it possible that it can carry harmful diseases which causes different uh, microorganisms will be present and this microorganism will be disease causing so we have to better check and better confirm that whether this transparent water clear water is fit for drinking or not so it is not good uh to drink the clear and transparent water directly just confirm it from the area and confirm regarding its purity question of 4 you are a member of the municipal body of your town make a list of measures that would help your own town to ensure the supply of clean water to all its residents it is what you will find it chlorine tablets should be made available it will help in chlorination that is addition of bleaching powder or chlorine tablets help to kill the germs and uh, proper cleaning of water tanks that is needed at regular interval and uh, the pot, the water supply pipes should be should not come in contact with the sewage pipes that is the key uh, aspects to be noted down by the municipal body so that uh, or if you are a member you should have it in your mind regarding clean water supply to all residents living in that society let us move to question number 5 we have to explain the difference between uh, pure water and polluted water that is pure air and polluted air it is not 
pure water and polluted water it is about air so what is the difference between pure air and polluted air when i say pure air it is having a mixture of nitrogen that is 78 percent oxygen that is 21 percent and your carbon dioxide that is your 0.03 percent and some minor gases are also present other gases such as we have organ methane neon water vapor these are all other gases which are present and these gases are found in small quantities when the air is contaminated by unwanted substances which have harmful effects on both living and non-living things like nitrogen oxide sulfur oxide carbon monoxide then the air is said to be polluted let us move to question number six we have question number six as explain the circumstances leading to acid rain and how does acid rain affect us so acid rain is is what that is the water vapor or the water content which comes in the form of rain from the clouds it is little acidic in nature and that's why it is called acid rain why it is acidic that is because of the presence of nitrogen dioxide sulfur dioxide gases that are the pollutants which are present in the atmosphere due to some reasons uh, it is maybe due to in this so when they come in contact with the water vapor that is present in the atmosphere uh, it forms sulfuric acid and nitric acid and it will form acid rain what are the effects of acid rain uh, it damages the building and sculptural materials uh, it causes skin issues in human beings it damages plants and crops uh, it removes the basic nutrients such as calcium from the soil and it also causes corrosion in metals. We have question number 7. Which of the following is not a greenhouse gas? Carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, methane, nitrogen. We find that nitrogen is not a greenhouse gas. Other gases are the greenhouse gases. Let us understand question number 8 that is about greenhouse effect. Here we have to understand what is greenhouse effect. So by the greenhouse effect means global warming of the earth environment. It is warming the earth environment. It is capturing the sun rays, the heat, the energy, but it is not allowing the <coughs> energy to exist. When the sun rays falls on the earth, a part of radiation that falls on the earth is absorbed by it and a part of it is reflected back into the space. Your greenhouse gases present this atmosphere basically trapping these radiation. So it get trapped and do not allow the heat to leave. So it makes the planet warm and thus help in survival. But you find that CO2, your methane, your carbon monoxide gases uh, are basically responsible for this effect to happen so if the concentration the amount of these gases get increased in the atmosphere so these make sure that it becomes a form a layer and it will not maximum amount of heat is getting absorbed and it is not getting reflected back so the temperature goes to increase for the earth we have question number nine now explain in brief speech about global warming So we can have a small speech. So global warming is about the continuous increase in the temperature of the earth. And it is because of the pollution in air, excessive heat, which is trapped by the greenhouse gases. And it is considered to be a threat to life because it causes a lot of health problems. And many consequences could be possible that like coastal areas, of the countries will get submerged as the temperature is getting increased so glaciers will melt rapidly the other consequences are also connected question number 10 is we have to describe the threat to the beauty of Taj Mahal the wherever the Taj Mahal location is there 
nearby that area many industries are been there and it is releasing a heavy amount of air pollutants in the atmosphere which is causing acid rain so due to this air pollution corrosion of these marbles which is made up of that which is made or which is used in making of taj mahal is getting corroded these suspended particles of particulate matter such as your soot particles emitted by uh, mathura oil refinery is contributing towards it and it is causing or you can say it is yellowing the marble so that's why taj mahal is losing its beauty move on to question number 11 why does the increased level of nutrients in water affect the survival of aquatic organism if the nutrient amount or nutrient level is getting increased in water eutrophication will take place and it will allow more and more algae to survive and they serve as a food for the decomposers like bacteria and huge amount of oxygen in the water bodies will be used up so it will decrease the oxygen level and if the oxygen level is getting decrease so aquatic life will not exist or aquatic life will difficulty in its survival so uh, that's why too much amount of nutrients in the water is affecting the aquatic organisms so this is how we have into the questions